Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another part, or part two of Let's Play Ruby, Veil of Darkness, or Darkness of Veil, I don't, I don't know which one. Uh, but anyways, your father's words ring in your head. My kid, hey Hunter, I couldn't be more proud of you. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine, I gotta help rebuild the town. Now go, be the best hunter there ever was. Okay, there we go. Worried about home. I have my best men and women working on helping your town, they will be fine. I suppose you have questions. Why did you come? You mean why would I, the headmaster beacon, be out doing a simple extermination? While my status seems to reflect otherwise, I'm still a hunter at heart. That is, that is really nice. And uh, and we just ho happen to be a signal, so we're the closest. Yes, I suppose. Uh, why me? Why you? It's you mean for a hunter? It's simple. But you'll see soon enough. I suppose you have questions. Where are we going? We're going to Signal. We will drop you off at a hotel. You spend the night, then you can board the airship to beacon with other students. I suppose you have questions. I'm good. Excellent. We should be arriving shortly. Alright, where am I going? Oh, sir, I have just received information. What is it? It's Torchwick! Torchwick! Where? A dust shop not far from here. Oh, this seems like something we've seen before. Driver, take us to the dust shop. Wait, the Torchwick? The very same. Hang on, reports say someone's trying to de detain him. Who? A teenage girl! Oh, is this is this the beginning of Ruby Volume 1 I sense here? Interesting. Where are we supposed to We're here. Okay. Where did they go? On the rooftop across the street. I'm going. So am I. No, you stay here. Oh, Glinda. Oh, you're right. Come on. All right. And we're going to save on file two. Oh, no. I, ugh. I had to change it. Oh, it won't change. Oh, right, it was a cutscene from Ruby Volume 1 when they're on the roof. All right. This must be the girl they mentioned. Coming off and... Oh, what? <laughs> Never mind. We got to catch him. Brace yourself. It's attacking. All right. Oh, we got the background music. Oh, gosh. All right. That's... Let's take out the airship. Alright. Now, the first time I played through this, funny fact, Ruby died. <laughs> yeah. The first time I played through this, I let the main character of Ruby die. And, uh, that was, that was really, really bad on my part to let Ruby die. Because she's dead, and that means there isn't, the series shouldn't even exist if Ruby's dead. <laughs> so... That was really bad on my part for letting Ruby die, but hopefully I won't let her die, so... I uh, forgot that Glinda can uh, use her skills and stuff like that, and she can heal each other, or heal the team, which I totally for, uh, didn't even know that during the time of the, my first playthrough. So I didn't know that I could heal Ruby or myself, so basically, like I said, Ruby died, and uh, it, was, it was just really, really sad. I'm gonna heal everybody. Oh my gosh, wow, that took huge damage off Ruby that was terrible I'm gonna restore everybody's health once more and just so uh, you know we won't die and let's use some min min manipulation there yeah Ruby takes a, a lot of damage it's insane how much Ruby she uh, or how much damage she takes off from everything and hopefully I can keep her alive for the last couple of seconds and just use all our attacks on this ship rather than having to use the rest restoration on us, and I totally missed that one. Oh, who took the most damage? Ruby took the most damage. Okay, I think, I think she will be okay. And yes, Ruby got the final blow. We won. What an exciting fight! I've gotten stronger. The enemies dropped something. Okay, and oh, there's a cutscene, but uh, you don't see it. All right, so you're a huntress, or huntress? Can I get an autograph? And then it has been dropped you off at the hotel and took the grow away. And that's when. Ruby and Osbin and Glenn have that one talk about the silver eyes and going to Beacon and you decide to rest. Sweet! The next day in the airship to Beacon. Okay, so I think it might, it might not show the cutscene. I don't think I'm going to show any of the cutscenes. I don't want to uh, do that part. I don't know why. Oh god, I think I'm going to... Okay, so that's John. Hey! You over here. Two people talking. Oh, I can't believe my baby sister is going to Beacon with me. This is the best day ever. Please stop. It's the girl from yesterday that let her go to... Uh, so yeah, uh, this is. I really like how the creator made uh, our character take place in the story and with everything. So I really think I really like that. You know, it looks like he took the time to actually write the story and make sure it made sense, rather than just go ahead and doing something crazy. A new story's out. Okay, and we got a cutscene. Okay, does it? Show? It doesn't show. But you can. T yeah, they're talking about Torchwig. Okay, we're gonna skip it. Your new life awaits. After a few minutes, you finally land at Beacon Academy. Get off the airship and start to look around. Alright, the Beacon... Oh my gosh, the courtyard. Was that an explosion? It sounded like it came from up ahead. 
back over here and what is this unbelievable this is exactly the kind of thing I was talking about I am really really sorry you complete adult what are you even doing here are you a little young to be sending beacon and so we already know what happens <laughs> argument argument and here comes Blake yeah. all right why Schnee heroes to the Schnee dust company one of the largest produ largest producers of energy propellant in the world finally it's a recognition the same company famous for its controversial labor force and questionable business partners and okay anyways Everybody leaves and Ruby's here by herself and oh, Blake leaves her. Welcome to Beacon. Maybe you should say something. Should we say something? Let's go ahead and say something. What should I say? Uh, did you explode? <laughs> you heard that? Uh, I'd be surprised if all Beacon didn't hear it. Hey, you're the one for the rooftop. Are you a hunter like Glinda? Uh, I wish. Oh, you're a, new, you're a student here too? My name is Ruby Rose. Nice to meet you. What's your name? You tell her her name. Wow, are you? Are those dual range pistol katanas? Awesome, I got this. It's Crescent Rose, the gun scythe. I love seeing new weapon. It's like meeting new people, only better. And I go with first impressions. You couldn't tell? Didn't you see what happened just now? I mean, I might not exactly make many friends here. Uh, but what about me? You and me? Heh, <laughs> first you save me from an airship, then you want to be friends? You are really cool, thanks. Alright, sweet, we're friends with Ruby! And you sense Ruby's gratitude and cheerful attitude. You are now friends with Ruby Rose. As you make more friends, you can spend. What? What? Wait, wait, wait. As you make more friends, you can spend with them after classes or whenever you have free time. The more time you spend with them, the closer you become. Now then, do you know where you're supposed to go? Not a clue. I guess we should start looking then. All right. And then who's over there? Hey, isn't that Vomit Boy? Oh yeah, he was on the airship. Uh, was I supposed to take a left or was it to the right? Maybe I go back. Maybe you should help him. Hey, are you lost too? What? Uh, no, I know I'm going. Great. We don't know where we're going or where we're supposed to go. Okay, can you tell us? Okay, I'm lost. Yay, Jean with his lying attitude. <laughs> oh, my name is Ruby and this is my friend. What's your name? Well, the name is Jean Arc. Short, sweet, rolls off the tongue. Lady love, Ladies love it. Do they? They will. I mean, I hope they will. You see, my mom says... Never mind. Okay. We got the name Ruby pulls our scythe. Whoa, was that a scythe? And basically, it's just everything that they go through in Ruby Volume 1 and uh, dual range pistol katanas. Say what? There are swords that fire bullets. I got the sword and a shield too. Uh, the shield gets smaller, so when I get tired carrying it, I can just put it away. That's pretty neat. You think so? Thanks. But when I weigh the same, yeah, it does. Oh, she's a dork when it comes to weapons. Wait, you made that? You didn't make yours. It's a hand me down. Yep. So it's really I just I cannot stress enough by how awesome it is how the guy who made the game literally made it go with the story so I love it. All right and I we gotta go oh my gosh all right we gotta go over to the ceremony and I really love the little uh, sprites he made of the characters. And, oh Ruby over here I saved you a spot. Hey I gotta go I'll see you after the ceremony. Hey wait where am I supposed to find another nice quirky girl to talk to? And it's in one of five so I understand what should you do. I just follow Ruby or follow, last time I follow Ruby and we already know what happens with if with Ruby with well, really little excuse me. We already know what happens when Ruby goes to Yang. They, you know, have that argument thing with Dwight. So we're gonna go to Jean. Alright, oh hey, I meant to ask, how do you end up at Beacon? Uh Osman invited me here. Wait, Osman personally invited you to attend Beacon? Holy cow, what did you earn that? What did you do to earn that? I say my town from a girl. Wow, oh, really? I can't do anything like that. You Weiss appears to have found Ruby. What's going on? Wait, are they talking about me? Tall, blonde, and oh, Osman is starting a speech. And uh, he kills off his speech and everything like that. And everyone wants to went to the sleeping area after the speech. There was no room for you though, so you decided to take a breather outside. Start staring at Beacon all pretty... Wait, <laughs> I cannot read. Staring at Beacon in pretty much all veil. You wonder what awaits you. The silence seems strange after the recent days he spent without it. Oh, oh, John. Oh, you're here too. Hey, John, my man. Okay, I just came out for some fresh air, but it looks like you beat me to it. Great minds thinking alike. Yeah. Whatever. By the way, thanks for helping me earlier. I probably would have missed the ceremony if it was for you and Ruby. Speaking of her, she is downstairs having another shot, making friends. But I'm, but it isn't going so well. I'm pretty sure White's got involved in. Also, I gotta ask, what what's with you and Ruby, anyways? You just met her, right? Yet yeah, you already act, seem like best buds. So do you? You know, like her? Yeah, this is the hard part. Do I like Ruby like as a love interest, or a friend, or as a secret? Hmm. I'm gonna go with a friend. Actually, no. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with a friend. Well, that makes my chance slightly bigger. John! No! There's another girl who likes you! Okay, well, to be honest, I'm going to Weiss. We should hang out sometimes. We're strangers in here in Vail after all. It'll be fun. Sure, why not? Cool. And there we go. You sense John's nervousness and his friendly attitude. You are now friends with John. Sweet, anyways. Alright. And there you go. Anyways, I'm gonna end this episode here and we'll be back again. Anyways, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for watching this episode. Let's play Ruby. I don't even know. Veil Darkness, Darkness of Veil. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.